is simply remarkable. Earlier this year, 10-year-old Nyla was at a routine track practice when she suddenly collapsed. Her heart just stopped. Nyla's life was nearly cut short. That was until her coach performed life-saving CPR, bringing the young runner back to life. Please welcome Nyla and her mom, Dominica. Y'all give it up for her. So, Nyla, what do you remember about that day? Um, so first I had walked out the car from a, from a quick nap and I had went and did my laps up and down the track. Then I had came to get a drink of water from my coach and he told me to slow down. Then I started to feel dizzy and my chest started to hurt and then I just passed out. And then I had woke up the ambulance and the police was surrounding me. Some of the people from the track team were there too and also when I had woke up, I noticed that my teeth were bloody and my nose was scratched up. That's scary, like waking up and like not knowing what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, uh, Dominique, you were at the practice, right? But yes. you, didn't, you didn't actually, you weren't there first, right? You didn't see it actually happen, the coach right. ran over, right? Right, yeah. um, I was actually in the car uh, working on my computer with my one-year-old and all of a sudden I hear some yelling and I was startled a little bit and then that's when the coach came over and he was carrying Nyla and he said Nyla had passed out and she was unconscious. And that's when he said that her pulse was weak. Um, I ran over to an off-duty officer that just happened to be there. And then we both went over there and at that point her coach had her on the ground and um, he said he wasn't getting a heartbeat at all. And so it got crazy, you know, pretty quick. Oh, I can't even yes. imagine. I yes. mean, we have kids too. I can't even imagine mm -hmm. panicking in that moment. So what did the doctor say happened? Cause she's so young. Well, um, what ended up happening is um, at the scene, her coach uh, gave her CPR mm -hmm. and it ended up saving her life. So once we got to the hospital, um, the doctors decided they wanted to do a couple of tests, but the mm -hmm. funny thing is that they came back normal. So they decided to do some blood work and it came back elevated and they kept us overnight and it was the next day that they um, said that, you know what, Nyla has a um, heart abnormality that has been there since birth and our minds were blown and they said it was basically a ticking time bomb that could have happened at any time. And so they said she's gonna have to have emergency heart surgery tomorrow morning. Oh. Wow. Yes, ma'am. That is super scary. And I mean, super lucky that at least when it did happen, they said it was taking time on that it happened around somebody who knew CPR. Yes. That's a blessing. Amazing. Yeah. Blessing, major blessing. I mean, y'all's minds, but I can't even imagine as a, a mama knowing like my little kid's getting going, you're like, take me, like I'll do yes. it. Like you, they're so little, you know? And yes, um, so you have a plan though, right? To make sure everybody knows CPR, right? I do. Um, we are starting the phase of working on our foundation. It's called the Swift Heart Foundation. Mm. Um, it's going to educate other teams and other athletes about CPR, yeah. but most of all, helping them to get defibrillators um, because a lot of teams are mobile and they don't have access to those things. And also to educate um, athletes about heart health. So <laughs> do any of y'all know CPR? Do, any, do you know CPR? I do. Yeah. I, do. I took a class once I had a kid. I yeah. freaked out and I didn't want one to choke. So I, yeah. I took a CPR class. Do, do, do you know? Yeah, I definitely need to brush up on it because I feel like that's one of those things that in the moment you go, oh. You panic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's amazing. I'm really glad you're sitting here with us. Yes. 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 So how are you doing now? Are there any things you have to do now? Um, I'm doing really good, but the fact that my coach gave me CPR is pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is such a kid thing. It was it pretty is. gross. He had my mouth in it. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> That's awesome. You can laugh about it. it we're at a good point. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, there is a very important part of this story that we're missing. Let's bring him out. Everybody, welcome Coach Earl. Hey. Oh! I'll put you in it, or you can sit wherever you'd like, ma'am. Um, okay, first of all, you're like a real life superhero. I said that in the card and I meant it. No, that's so, that's so <laughs> amazing. No, because I was telling them, like, I've taken CPR classes, but it's like, you still, there's a panic mode. You know? Yeah, and like, I'm normally not relaxed like that. So for, our, for me to be relaxed at that particular time, it was great. I mean, take us back to that day. Like, what were you thinking, like, when she fell? 
Well, it was, it's a normal conditioning day, and our normal conditioning days, for Nala to not be breathing correctly for like 30 seconds, it was kind of strange to me. So I was like, Nala, you have to breathe for me. And so I'm noticing that she still can't breathe, so she turns away from me, and when she turns away from me, she just collapsed. So I run over to her, Nala, 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 and I'm starting to notice her eyes rolling back in her head, so I pick her up, and oh. she's on the opposite side of the track. I ran all the way across the uh, field, to the other side where her mom was parked. And by then, I'm noticing that she's lifeless in my arm now. So you know, then I'm getting to the point to where now I gotta have to do CPR. So now I'm doing CPR on her and I'm trying to get her back to breathing and she finally takes that breath and I'm like, oh, thank you. The reason why it was so special to me, and y'all might not know this, mm -hmm. but my dad literally passed in front of me at six years old. So a lot of, a lot of people don't know that, but he had an acute asthma attack and me and my brother, he's like seven years older than me, so we both don't know how to do CPR at that time. So there was no control that we had in that situation. So for me to be able to have control in this situation off of a CPR class I took 15 years ago and never used it till that day, to have control of that situation, it made me feel real good and it made me feel great. Oh my God, well, do y'all want to say anything to him? I mean, I can imagine as a mama, you were like, I, I can't, I can't imagine, I, I think I just constantly give you gifts every week. Yes. <laughs> I think yes. I just keep yes. buying you things to, to say thank you. <laughs> well, my husband and I um, are just so grateful for you, Coach Earl. You know um, mm -hmm. you are near and dear to our heart, how loyal we are to you. And for you to give such a life-saving gift to our daughter is just mind-blowing. But, you know, um, track for you is not just another sport. It's a ministry, mm -hmm. and every child that comes through that door, you just love on them and you bring the best out of them. So we're just grateful for you doing what you did, and I know that so many great things are going to come forth for you for that. Thank you. No, yeah. well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will say my favorite, my favorite thing I've heard today <laughs> was her going, I mean, he said my life, but it was kind of gross because he gave me CPR. <laughs> Look at it, she's like, I stand by what I said. I stand by what I said. <laughs> it, is, it is an amazing thing, and, and I know that it's a horrible thing that happened, but what you're doing with the Swift Heart Foundation and the educating people on to know CPR, you, your life might save other people's lives oh, through this. So, so that, that is the real testimony here. That's yeah. the real story here. Like, and thank you so much for sharing it with us. This Most is definitely. a scary thank time. You. So, thank you for having us. Oh, no, thank you so much. All right, well... We actually have another little surprise for Nyla. Um, Joel, Grace, and Duff, uh, do y'all want to help me out with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is someone here who was inspired by Nyla's story. She is a three-time Olympic medalist in track. She wants to meet you, Nyla, in person. Say hello to Carmelita Jetter. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Y'all have a seat, and you need to show those off. They yes. sound so heavy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Here you go. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. Oh my gosh! Coach Earl, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, so listen. Oh, I'm, I was I was hugging you first. I went in first. Um, so Carmelita, like, what do you want to say? I mean, as a as a runner, and I mean, it's a very physical thing that you do. And there can be scary times. What do you want to say to Coach Earl? That's pretty cool. You know, I heard your story, Coach Earl. And, you know, I coach at Missouri State University mm -hmm. now. And the number one thing that I heard was you care about your athletes. Have to. And when a coach cares about their athletes, the athlete will run through a brick wall for them. Mm -hmm. Please continue showing love because that is the one thing that makes things happen. I will. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. I I'm floored. What do you want to say to Nyla, though, who loves running? You are so gorgeous. You know that, right? <laughs> um, first off, I'm so glad that you're healthy and you're here with us. Um, I want you to continue, continue resting. Rest is very, very important. Mm. You know, the number one thing I didn't do when I tore my quad, I tried to get back out there too quick, too fast. And I should have rested a little more. So let's play a little patience with this, just a little bit of patience. But then when you're back there on that track, I want you to burn it up. Yes! Oh. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel.
please don't make me keep going.